Copacabana. It's a dance club. No. It's a glorious Copa of years ago. Yeah. It's 1947. The war is over. The boys are back. Everything is new again. And it seems like everyone's in love. And they live in a world full of color. Just like an MGM movie musical. All in glorious technicolor. Yeah. But who's there? got to start with a girl, right? But not just any girl. She's got to be the girl of your dreams. A girl with music in her name. Her name? Her name was Lola. She was from Tulsa. Yeah. Just arrived, Grand Central Station. Suitcase in hand with a dream in her heart. Are shaking, I'm making. 
Yeah. But now, you need a guy. He's gotta be young. He's gotta be, uh, good looking. <laughs> he's gotta be talented, very talented. By day, he's a struggling songwriter, and at night, he works at the world famous Copacabana. And his name was Tony. Ladies and gentlemen, Daddy will fall off his tractor when I tell him this. 
help this? Oh. No thanks. I have one! <laughs> Mr. Lumpkin. Yeah, and it's an original song too, written by the only other songwriter I ever met, back in Tulsa, Mr. Schminkel. <laughs> Mr. Schminkel. <laughs> yes. Look, Mr. Forte, I know exactly what you're thinking. I'm just some innocent little hayseed who wouldn't know a curtain call. No, 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 not at all. And I've got to fall flat on my face with my original songs by Schminkel. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's what you like, isn't it? No, you're wrong. Yes, it's true, I haven't heard your band teach you Lumpkin, but, well, when it's Sprinkle, that makes all the difference. I mean, who's he, the wrestling coach? Wait, just, just listen to what I can do with them, maybe. No, thank you. I think I'll show you what I can do. Tomorrow. That's right, I'm going to show you. And a whole lot of other people. Oh, good night, Mr. Lumpkin. I mean, oh. Hey, wait, don't go, I've got to see you again. How can I meet you? Oh, you won't have any trouble finding me, Mr. Tony Forte. Just look for the brightest lights in Manhattan. Let's spell my name. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage Mr. Tony Forte. Hey down there. Look at me now. I'm flying high. 
am Heaven knows how Heaven knows why Guess I'm just a lucky guy Sweet heaven, I'm in love again Sweet heaven, I'm in love again you came along, now what can I do? I only want to be with you, sweet heaven, here I go again. I'm hooked from head to toe again. For one minute I'm so lonely and dead. Oh sweet heaven, baby, now that I found you right. Waiting so long Sweet heaven, I'm in love again So totally in love again I'll shout it everywhere I go I'll sing it on the radio I want the whole world to know Sweet heaven, I'm in love
haven't finished yet. Yes, you have, dear. Next. Walking moon in since Waterloo. Honey, what did they do to you? 
Gladys, it was just awful. They all hated me. Tulsa, they didn't hate ya, they just thought you stunk. Oh, great. <laughs> that makes me feel better. Look, we all stunk when we started out. I stunk so bad I thought my middle initials were P.U. But you know what, it gets better. You learn quick, you'll be fine. I just don't know how many more days I can take like this. Now, Mr. Silver? Well, Mr. Silver's gonna think I stink too. So what if I don't become a cult girl? It's not the end of the world, is it? Not the end of the world? Tulsa, pay attention. Baseball players and Hollywood movie stars want to take you out in their fancy cars to the best restaurants in town. You just want to go home, put your feet up, and have a nice, big, juicy pork chop. So, you put on your coat, the one that shows off those coat hands of yours, and you go on down to the butchers. There you find yourself waiting in a lot of dames, and the butcher sees you. You smile that your baby blues, and next thing you know, you sashay out the door with half an amp pig. <laughs> Those dames in line, they look at you with daggers in their eyes. Daggers. But being the lady you are, you just turn to them and smile and politely say, drop dead. <laughs> I'm a Cobra girl. From Kalamazoo to Timbuktu. too. picture taken with the mayor or down that new photo spread for Vanity Fair. A very proper gent comes up to you with a personal invite to some fancy banquet for some prince that's in town. You know, a prince from one of those countries that sounds like cheese. You met a prince? Kogi, the question and answer period is later. So, you go on down to the Waldorf and there you find yourself waiting in some reception line to meet his royal something or other. It approaches you, you curtsy, he bows, and then he says, And who might you be, my dear? And I say, I'm Gladys Murphy from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And he says, Well, well, Gladys Murphy, you are a very beautiful woman. And I say, You bet your royal hiney, I'm a Copa girl. Whatever you please, they fall to their knees. I ordered. Mr. 
silver. Do you know what Morty is getting out of prison? Or is this a life sentence for me too? Pink, Pink makes me gag. Those ain't too well done. They were like shoe leather yesterday. Uh, yes, Mr. Silver. One knish and two dogs. Still barking. Mr. Silver, I don't have a piano player. Oh, now look what you've done. Why don't you just shoot her and get it over with? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can help. Do you have music? Yes, I have music. You sure do. What is this, the ring cycle? Listen, I can play this. Okay, let's get on with it.
Everybody see some flow show? Hey, we're going back so far. You got a minute, Mrs. Silver. Oh, this is great. All right, girlie. You did good. I'll think about it. But Mr. Silver, I can say how long I'll think about it. There, I thought about it. You're hired. <laughs> and that's for you, Brooklyn. You're good. Too good to be telling bars. Get back in the show. Gee, thanks, Mr. Silver. No arguments. <laughs> He's right. You play very well. Thanks. I bet you're a good songwriter, too. Oh, uh, I've had dozens of songs published already. In my dreams. Is that where you get your ideas? In your dreams? Some of them. How do you do that? Write a song? Well, you start at the beginning. Then you add a little bit, and then pretty soon you got yourself a song. Show me. Now? Yeah. Write me a song. Oh, I couldn't. I mean... I thought you were great. Okay. What we need here is a little... inspiration. Let's see. Lola, sweeter than a cherry cola. I look at her and I lose control. <laughs> What, you think this is funny? This is hard work. Okay. Lola, would she stop me if I stole a kiss? Like this? Lola, if only your name were two, cause Sue rhymes with skies of blue and morning dew, and I love you. Long before I ever saw you standing there When I felt afraid Of the choice I made I would close my eyes and hope My dreams would comfort me But now I'm When I see you there, 
Then I see my every dream come true. Who needs to dream when there is you?
that's that. Let's copy that. Rico, everyone is staring. Isn't it wonderful? Why wouldn't they stare? They all want to be able to tell their friends as they saw a real lifestyle. Miss Alves? You were so romantic. You told me you'd make me a star, and you did. I always get what I want, Conchita. You know that? The years go so quickly. That all seems like yesterday, no? This is depressing, Conchita. The years go so quickly. Remember this? Remember that? Mm. I don't feel any older, do you? No, Rico, no. Of course not. Finish your drinks and get out of here. I'm beginning to feel that you're very upset with me. Come on, tell me now, what's on your mind. I'll tell you what's on my mind. Every time you drop in, one of my corporate girls drops out. Eh, uh, just a little family competition. That's all. And I never heard from again. Like Doris Miller. <coughs> Doris Miller? Doris Miller? I cannot remember the name, can't you? Doris Miller? Oh, yes, she's pushing up the daisies now. What? Yes, I think she had a very unfortunate accident, Sammy. She was cleaning my revolver. And I don't want to hear it. Why they order? I'll give you five minutes. Five minutes, and I'll see a table empty. Uh, Mr. Silver, Frank's not on line three. I'll take you in my office. No scenes, Rico. Five minutes. Keep an eye on him, Winnie. Maybe we should go. Sit. But he said... Since when do I take all this from him? We'll sit. Is that Mr. Castelli over there? Uh, yeah, that's him. But Mr. Silver Mr. Castelli, I'm Lola Lamar. It sure is a pleasure to meet you. Oh no, I gotta tell Sam. I don't think so, Toots. Wow. Nobody's done that to me since I played Cinderella in the hospital play. You like me. Allow me to introduce you. Holy cow! Conchita Alvarez? Yes, honey. Holy cow, wait till I tell my mother back in Tulsa. Why, she saw you on a honeymoon way back in the Isn't that nuts? <laughs> <laughs> Join us. Oh, I wouldn't want to interrupt anything. No, no, no. Conchita was just saying how she would like to go to Club Monaco with Mario. Auntie darling. Buenas tardes, puta. Nice meeting you. Mm -hmm. Mario, make sure you take Conchita to Club Monaco and you have the airport. Okay. Si, senor, Mr. Now that's a star. There. Enrico Castelli, the Tropicana, Havana, Cuba. Gee. Enrico Castelli, is that a Cuban name? Italian. Well, Tony is Italian too. Tony. Yeah. So, what brings you all the way up here? You could say that I'm visiting my family. Your folks live up here? My godfather. So, have you heard of my <laughs> Heck yeah. Everyone's heard of the Tropicana. They say it's one of the largest nightclubs in the world. It's the largest nightclub in the world. And it's all up. Golly. Champagne. 
post. My first taste of champagne. First of many firsts. Lola. May I call you? Is <coughs> from for all this champagne? You can call me Daffy Duck. <laughs> Do not be seen. Bye, Mommy. Well, down the hatch. Bottoms up. Up yours. <laughs> Gee, I can't believe all this. Just arrived and look at me, sitting here and drinking. Talk about a fantasy, just like Cinderella at the ball. Oh no, if only the truth means. You know, I think I'm getting the hang of all this. Well, I'm watching you tonight. I cannot help but think how beautiful you would look on stage, Topica. They would love you there. But I'm the bride here, Mr. Castelli. Why, Mr. Silver? Well, Mr. Silver's being just like a daddy to me. And Gladys and all the girls have just been so wonderful. And then there's Tony. Tony, who is this? Oh, Mr. Castanets. <laughs> I feel like I'm living a dream. <laughs> it all starts now. <laughs> Look who's currently appearing. <laughs> I feel so wow. <laughs> Gee, it's getting kind of warm. And holy cow, did you hear those people cheering up a storm? Whoa, 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 whoa. Boy, this stuff sneaks up on you, don't it? Oh no, I think I've had quite enough. Enough? You've barely become all a look around you. You deserve so much more than this. Here, you are just a person. But, you are glad and I will make you a real star.
only to do the same for Miss Lama. Rico, you cannot do this! I cannot do this. Do not forget who you are talking to. Rico, here's something else. The Havana number, for example. This fabulous, and I will teach her all of these things. Enough! The other fell brown will start tomorrow. Boy, you got it bad, don't you? <laughs> Not at all. I just think this part is for a younger woman. She's never gonna love you, Rico. Not the way I love you. Oh, Conchita! You're just too old. Just too old. Conchita, are you alright? I'm all right. I'm better than ever. Conchita, you're fabulous. I am fabulous. And it will be even better after I have a little chat with Miss Lamar. Conchita, what are you going to do? What needs to be done? I'm only going to say to her in my own special way, Bienvenidos a Havana. Welcome to Havana. I'm going. I'm going. 
going, that tells in I'm going. I'm teaching not to mess with me. I'm giving this, you're giving that. I'll beat him up, you'll knock him flat. Just like a kid of 23. Who am I kidding? I'm no young girl. I'll be the child like an old cheese. It takes me hours just to pay. Talking. 
And then he asked me to dance, and then... Hi, Madre de Dios, you really don't know, do you? No, what? That lunatic, he must have drugged you. This time he has gone too far. I have fun, Tony. Listen to Conchita. There are two reasons why you cannot live here. Number one, you cannot walk. And number two, even if you could walk, they will break your legs and then you really cannot walk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, don't cry. But now his heart is so full of you. I'm sure he won't let anybody hurt you. His heart is so full of me. That man doesn't have a heart. He has a heart, but it does hate on it. <laughs> Why do you cut up with him? I don't know. I guess I love him. Not for who he is, but for who he once was. I'm sorry. Hi, what's done is done. As my old uncle Jose used to say, once the milk is in the bucket, you cannot squirt it back into the cow, comprende? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. No, don't worry about it. Uncle Jose was an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a smile. See, we are making progress. If you like, I will talk to Rico and see good consistency and send you home. He would do that? Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Laura. Have a beautiful day. I'm glad you're up. I want to show you a magnificent city. All of Havana waits you. Why did you bring me here? Why? Because I've got plans for you. Laura, don't worry. You're safe here. And I'm going to make you famous, my newest and brightest star. Is that when you tell all the girls you kidnap? I see Conchita has been telling me. He's thinking lies again. I've said nothing. I've done nothing. Another lie. Okay, let's go again. Let's go. Let's be coming up.
I know that she isn't real, still she is there.
don't have to do anything. All you gotta do is tell us where she is and how we can get to her. There is nothing you can do. Your friend is guarded 24 hours a day. The only time she's not surrounded by goons is when she is on stage.
You did, Sam. Jeez. And here I thought I was dead. I was sure heard an angel playing a harp. Mr. Silver, you're a hero. I am? That's unbelievable. You can say that again. You're scared us, little lady. And as for you, Brooklyn, putting a brain head done like that, it's a good thing I followed you down there. And that's all I can say. It sure was. Well, right, um, what is this, a floor show? Let's get back to work. I'm hungry. Wait till Gladys says this. Hot damn. <laughs> that was the last thing that she did. I'm a very nice guy. Don't you know that? Well, kind of pushy. But you do have your charts. You certainly have yours. How many people might see that? I don't care what. Hey, everybody, I love Lola. Oh, congratulations. And now have the Havana homes. It's not enough. Sweet heaven, I'm in love again. So totally in love again. I'll shout it everywhere I go. I'll sing it on the radio. I want the whole world to know. Sweet heaven, I'm in love.
Her name was Lola. She was a show girl. Honey, are you ready? I decided to wear the red one. Stephen, I can't believe you're not dressed. Come on, get a move on. Samantha, it's you, it's really you. Who are you expecting, Lady Gaga? <laughs> Beautiful. And you're late. Come on! You know how my father gets when he's kept waiting? Oh, great. That's them. What's your wish? Happy anniversary to you. Stephen wants to come over you. Don't answer me. Oh, then like that. We move! Stephen! <laughs> come in! <laughs> Hi, Mom. You're Hi, gonna Mom. start with me, Miss Mouth. I have to give it a two dollar tip on a five dollar fare. What do you think? Money grows on trees. I work hard for that. I am doll face. Two bucks she gives him. Big spender. Why do I even bother going to the bank? I might as well go to the window and throw it all out. You like that, wouldn't you? Oh, can it stop being such a tight wad? We go out once a year, we can splurge. What are you saving for? Your funeral? Don't. I'll throw you out in the garbage with your hat on. Hiya, Cookie, you love the dress. Hey, Edelman, how's it going? Hello, Steven, anyone home? Nothing, painting, a piece of furniture. You married a table. Lost your table? I think he got a little lost in his work. Um, yeah, no, I mean, work, yes. Work, schmuck, let's go, I'm hungry. What else is new? He just walked out two hot dogs in a condition at the corner and he's still hungry. Um, Sammy, I think we interrupted something here. What? You know, well, you used to know. Come on, let's win the lobby. <laughs> is that what she means? Oh, I get it. Oh, aren't they adorable? Hey, where the trade might take what? I bought a mink coat. This is unbelievable. What? Everything. Them, you. I'm staying to you. You've been talking to your drum machine about us? I mean it. I love you. I'll never let anything come between us again. I don't know. <coughs> I'm a girl of your dreams.
Oh, no.